Hello YouTube, this is the fourth video in our Minesweeper JavaScript and Canvas game development series. In this video we're going to be creating an array that has um, the positions of 10 bombs randomly generated. Uh, so we're going to start off, we're going to make an array which will store, actually it'll be a multi-dimensional array, it will store the coordinates of 10 bombs. So we'll start off by saying bombs is an array and then inside of our initiate function we are going to <coughs> say bombs or actually we're going to create a for loop so that we can execute this block of code 10 times one for each bomb we'll say var i is equal to 0 i is less than 10 i plus plus and Inside of that, we're going to generate our things. So, um, we'll say bombs i is equal to a random x and a random y, and um, we can generate those two numbers by doing the following. Um, we're going to use math dot random, which generates a random decimal between or random floating point integer number between 0 and 1 um, and we're going to multiply that by 10 so that we get a number between 0 and 10 rather than 0 and 1. Um, 10 is the number of boxes we have so that's how many we're going to multiply it by. Um, this will give us numbers like 9.5387 not whole integers um, and we want whole integers so we're going to take the floor value of whatever that random number is which the floor value of 1.6589 whatever would be 1 um, so we're gonna do that twice here's our random x value and here's our random y value and just so that we can see what that looks like we can um, We'll console.log our bombs array. So we have our dimensions here. We have a bunch of random locations of bombs. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. In the next one, we'll be determining whether a user clicked on a bomb or not. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.